Well, that's a pretty nice tom, hey? Yeah, very nice. Yeah, third bird of the season here and uh, fourth day out hunting. So he was uh, pretty reluctant to come in actually. He kind of held up just outside of uh, shotgun range there for a while, just kind of staring at it. So in behind these trees we were in, it's a good thing that we had uh, our modified pretty boy here. We've done a few different things to it, including uh, a jerk cord on it, you can see Dev has there. And uh, I think that really made the difference of him uh, coming that last little bit in yeah. the range, eh? Certainly, the jerk cord just gives it that lifelike realism that, you know, when there's no wind, you just don't get. We've been hooped a couple times just because there was no wind and we didn't have any way of moving the decoy, so it uh, definitely made a difference today. Yeah, for sure it did. The other thing that we did, is, uh, well, of course, we got a real fan in there, but we also made a cut right at the seam between the black and the copper color here, right down from this joint and that one. And that allows us to stick a real wing in there. That way, you just get a little bit more realism on it. And then we cut the front and also put a, uh, a real beard in there. <coughs> so we think it looks really realistic and. Uh, well, seems to get the job done. Yeah, the Tom seemed to agree too, yeah. So, it works really good, especially with the combo there, so, yeah. And this is your first one with the 20 gauge? The first one. The first one with, uh, with the 20 gauge. We figured we were setting up 10, 15 yards away from the decoy most of the time, so I thought, why not take the 20 gauge? Nice short little gun for in the turkey woods, so. It certainly got the job done. Absolutely. But last chances are only for the ones who quit And if you're anything like us, you just can't get